travelers. So we are just about to begin our walk to Mission Bay. It's another complete free activity you can do if you're in Auckland. It's about an hour's walk from the CBD of Auckland. Uh, but it's supposed to be a beautiful walk and a beautiful bay at the end of it. But right now we're gonna enjoy this partly sunny day of Auckland and have our little walk to Mission Beach. Bay. It's raining a little bit right now, but the walk here was beautiful. It was about an hour and 15 minute walk from the CBD, but it's definitely a walk that you want to do. And like I said before, it's completely free, so it's a great activity to do. And you're walking along this beautiful blue water the whole time. And now after this long walk, and because it's raining, we're going to find somewhere to go inside and have a nice little drink. We decided to come to the Belgian Beer Cafe like we did when we stopped on our way when we were going to fly over to Europe. But beer is really expensive here. It's around 14, 15, 16 dollars for like a bottle of beer. But that's why we'll only have one. But we'll enjoy it because we miss Belgian beer. What did I get? I decided to get the whole garden forbidden fruit bottle and Kurt, of course, he got a duel. It was an expensive beer at the Belgian beer cafe, but Kurt really wanted to have Belgian beer again, so we decided to have one. But yeah, the cheapest pint on there was like Stella for $8, but if you're gonna have Belgian beer, you're not gonna drink Stella. And then most of the good Belgian beers were around $16.50 for like a 330 milliliter bottle. So if you are on a budget for drinks, I don't suggest coming there if you're in Mission Bay at all. Um, now we're just gonna be walking along the little path and seeing what else there is here, and then we're gonna head back to our apartment. So now we're currently about to leave Mission Bay. It was a beautiful walk towards here. I really suggest doing it if you guys are in Auckland. And it's a great way to spend a day, especially if it's a little bit sunny out, like we had some parts of sunshine today, but we also had rain, because it always rains in New Zealand. Anyways, um, I think I'm gonna leave it here for today. We are going to this island tomorrow. We're gonna be taking the ferry which I'm really excited about, but we have to do the early bird special because it's the cheapest way to do it. If you buy early bird tickets, you get tickets for $20. Other than that, it's around $30 for a ticket. I'll show you guys the little island we're gonna go to tomorrow. Just give me a second. Right there. I forget what it's called. I'll tell you guys when we go there tomorrow, but there's a ton of walks on there that we're gonna be able to do. I think we're gonna do the one that goes around the island for four hours. So, really excited about that. I cannot see anything because of the sun right now. So, I will see you guys tomorrow when we get on that ferry. Good morning, guys. So, change of plans this morning. We were going to go onto the ferry, but last night we bought this van for ourselves. Look at that, we even have little sleeping area, kitchen. It's a fully self-contained van and we bought it from this backpacker who's having to leave the city on Monday, tomorrow actually, and uh, we got it for $2,000, so a pretty good deal. I mean, it is high kilometers and everything, but today we're gonna be going to change over the registration and then change over the car into our name with a guy, so I'll show you guys the process and we head to the post office for that, all right? 
Okay, so we currently went to the post office. What you guys need to do if you guys are transferring over registration is get this form, fill it out. All you need is your passport or your license, which has to be in English for them. Um, and then you pay $9 and the car is transferred over into your name. It was pretty easy actually. It only took like two seconds. Uh, you also have to make sure that the seller that you're getting the car off of, they have a little sheet of paper to transfer over the registration. They have to fill it out and then post it in the mail. And then the car should be transferred over fully into your name. So now we have our own van to travel around in. Yay! Hey. We're just driving back to the city right now. And what I can tell you guys is there's a lot of little parking spaces if you're buying a car or a van and you want to park it in the city. There's some smart parking spaces in neighborhoods, especially, and they're usually for free. Or most of the parking spaces are free after 6 p.m. until about 8 in the morning. And on Sundays and public holidays, they are also free too. Those are just some little tips I can give you guys if you're looking for parking at all while you're in the city of Auckland so you don't have to pay so much money because parking can be really expensive in this city. We got our papers all figured out for the van and now we're gonna be heading on our way to Auckland Centennial Park to go check out a waterfall there. It looks really pretty. It's about a 52 minute drive from the CBD. So it's not too bad, especially when we have a van. Yay! I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the van quickly, okay? Before we head out. Okay. So, we have all this stuff that came with it here. All our cooking stuff. There's some oils and stuff there as well. Also have a little fire extinguisher. Always important. And then, here is our little kitchen. Sink, stove. We have some things. Toilet paper, some other things, and then it seals nicely with this so it doesn't open while we're driving and then we have our bed it which actually turns into two chairs I won't show you guys right now because we're not gonna do that we have some curtains and everything and we even have a little plug which is great for us because we need that for our electronics so yeah just small little space for us to go traveling so now we are going to be definitely able to see all of the North Island while we're living here for six months because every weekend we're going to take a little trip somewhere see something new so it's going to be awesome we'll have a lot of exciting things for the vlog today is just going to be a park in the city though because we have to figure out all our papers and everything but next weekend will be an adventure for sure so let's head on to the park just started uh, raining here in Auckland. We're hoping it's not raining at the park by the time we get there. We're gonna try our best to see what we can see, but uh, yeah, it sucks the weather here in New Zealand. It rains all the time. There really hasn't been a day that has gone by where we have not had rain all day. It's really raining now, but at least there will be a big waterfall when we get there then. Hopefully it's still not raining this hard by the time we get there. arrived at the park but it is like pouring rain outside I don't know if you guys can hear it on the roof or not so we're gonna see if it dies down a little bit and if it doesn't then I think we're gonna have to come another day to see these waterfalls and I'm really sorry that you guys couldn't see them we really tried but it always rains here in New Zealand and you can never plan it with the weather um, but we did see that beautiful ocean and rock as we were driving up here which was really nice to see as well a little bit pink in the sky so we're gonna wait it out for a few minutes and see if it dies down uh, i'll let you guys know it finally stopped raining a little bit hopefully it holds up so we can go see this waterfall but let's go check it out here range regional parks that's where we are we're in the waitaki range regional parks and it's like a whole realm of parks that are like an hour or so drive from the CBD of Auckland. And then there's supposed to be some beautiful waterfalls here, so let's go see. Completely free as well to do. Just cost you the drive here. But other than that, uh, it's a completely free activity. So the sun is actually going down and Kurt thought it was about a 10 minute walk to the waterfalls, but 
the sign says 30 minutes so by the time we get there it's gonna be really dark for you guys we're gonna try and head back to the beach scene and catch a sunset I'm really sorry that it didn't work out in this whole vlog what we we're gonna do today but uh, it happens sometimes when you're traveling right plans don't always work out as you want and you just gotta kind of go with the flow so we're gonna go catch the sunset and see how pretty it is we'll have to come back here another day maybe we'll come back here uh, over the next weekend and see what it's like is so pretty behind me oh this big rock and all the ocean oh, it's so nice and calming and beautiful yeah again we're like by the waitiki waitiki i'll spell it for you guys later down here but by the regional parks and when you're driving up here you will see this big rock in the ocean passing by make sure you stop by it to take a nice look because it is beautiful and the sand is so soft that I'm walking on right now. Amazing. <sighs> Love it. Surprise, it started to rain again. Uh, I think we're gonna be heading back to the van now and driving the hour way home. I really tried to get some fun activities in for you guys. I'm sorry, but this is a beautiful view that I could show you and we'll definitely go see that park another time. I'm going to end the vlog here then. I hope you guys enjoyed what we did when we walked to Mission Bay yesterday. Beautiful walk, another free activity to do in Auckland. And now I hope you guys enjoyed the little scenery that we saw here. I'm sorry we couldn't see the park, but I will get that in another time. So if you guys liked my video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like and comment. And if you guys want any more tips or tricks on budget traveling, just click on our website link below, Two Hearts, Two Backpacks. And until then, I'll see you guys at the next vlog. Bye.